In this part of the dice construction, uh, we're going to be, like I said, practicing uh, patterns to get this uh, nice uniform shape here. The other thing we'll be practicing is um, selecting multiple objects at a time using that shift key. So what you want to do is um, insert a sphere and you're going to put that on top of your object but obviously that's way too big so we're going to change the radius down here. We're going to highlight that and change it to um, we could change it to 1.5. That'll work for us. So notice you're going to get a really small one. Um, when you're placing this on there, you want to place it as close as possible so you don't have to move it a whole bunch. Um, so go to the top view, and you want to get it so that it looks pretty close to each side. Like there's an even space on the top and on the left. And then just click and, and place it there. Um, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll be really close. So in order to create four of them, I could just copy it and, and place them um, where I want to go, or I can use this pattern feature. So I'm going to go up here and on pattern, and I'm going to do a rectangular pattern. So there's two options. That we choose either a solid or the direction. So just like you were doing before and learned in those videos, you click solids, then you click your directions that you want to go. Now, in order to make four, I'm just going to want it to be two by two. So I pull this way, get it approximately so it's about the same. And then when I go down this way, I have to change it again to two. And then I just pull down as well. When you have it where you think that you want it, you hit enter. And you can just scroll around and look and see. Looks pretty good to me. So the other skill we're going to learn is how we make them hollowed out like that. So we want to um, select by holding the shift key. So hold shift and click on all four of the spheres so that they're green. And then you want to go to move. So I'm going to move them down. And if you, if you notice, um, it's going to move there. You can either move it up and down like that or you can type in what you want. And I want it to go the exact same as the radius that I put in. So I want it to go down one and a half. So it's kind of halfway in there. Then you hit enter. Now while they're still highlighted, you can click on this um, subtract. So you go to this combine toolbar here and go subtract. Now the first one you want to click is the dice. That's your target solid. Then you go to, oops, sorry, that's your target. Then you go to your source and you're going to click on each one. So hold down the shift, click on each one, and push enter. If you do it in the opposite way, um, you'll delete this whole block and then just push, push the undo and get it proper. So then when you zoom into it, you can see that they're actually hollowed out now, just like uh, the dice should be. So, um, the rest of the dice, it just depends, um, you know, what number you want to put there. I've shown you um, sort of two different sides of it. So if you have four on the top, you'd go to this side over here and you'd put two spheres. So there's going to be two over here, then there's going to be one here. Now I'll tell you a trick about dice is that um, opposite sides of a dice, they add up to seven. So if I had two on this side here on the front, if I had two here, I'm just going to quickly put two. So I just copied, and then I pasted. Looks something like that. So if I had two on that side, which I'm not putting them in place yet, then that means I need to have five on the back side. So opposite sides of a dice are going to have uh, add up to seven. So on the opposite side of this, so on the bottom. I'd put three. So it's about uh, rotating and putting them in, in the proper place. Use patterns when you have like um, four and six. That's pretty much the only two you can use a pattern for, but it does save you some time. And good luck. Call me over when you uh, think you have it done, and I'll take a look at it.